This is another video about using rates of change to estimate an unknown value of a function. I'm making a lot of these videos because these problems are just like what you will find on the actual AP exam for FRQ number 2 part B. This is AP Precalculus topic 1.2. If you appreciate this content, please give it a like. This problem is calculator active. After Mr. Passwater missed a day of school, a rumor began to spread that he had won the Powerball lottery and moved to Japan. Initially, seven students knew about the rumor. They were the ones that started it. After two hours, t equals two, a total of 15 students had heard the rumor. After six hours, t equals six, 67 students had heard the rumor. The number of students that have heard the rumor can be modeled by the piecewise function r, given by all of this, where r of t is the number of students that have heard the rumor at time t hours since the rumor first began. Part 1. Use the given data to find the average rate of change in the number of students that have heard the rumor in students per hour from t equals 2 to t equals 6 hours. Express your answer as a decimal approximation. Show the computations that lead to your answer. Let's define a letter A that will equal the value of this average rate of change. On the interval from 2 to 6, the average rate of change of R will be given by R at 6 minus R at 2 divided by 6 minus 2. We are given the value of R at 6. After 6 hours, 67 students had heard the rumor. We are also given the value of r at 2. At time t equals 2, a total of 15 students had heard the rumor. So, we have this expression for the average rate of change. Let's put this into the calculator to make a decimal approximation. Make sure you know how to make a vertical fraction on your calculator. You can either hit alpha y equals enter, or if your calculator has the updated software, you can hit alpha x, and that will do it more quickly. So we need 67 minus 15 over 6 minus 2. Wow, that turns out to be exactly 13. I was expecting a decimal. Normally, I would store this value into a letter on the calculator to preserve all of the decimals. That feels a little silly now because this is just 13. But you know what? I think I will just go through the motions so I can show you how to do it. So that on another problem, when this turns out to be a crazy decimal, you will know what to do. If the rate of change was a long decimal, I would store it into a letter by immediately hitting the store button and then picking the letter. I'm going to use A, so alpha A and enter. Including the units, the average rate of change is 13 students per hour. Part two, interpret the meaning of your answer from part one in the context of the problem. I'm going to give you my interpretation in two slightly different ways. Watch how I include the definition of the given function in my interpretation. R of t is the number of students that have heard the rumor at time t hours since the rumor first began. So the rate of change of R of t will begin as the number of students that have heard the rumor since the rumor first began, and here comes the average rate of change, increases by 13 students per hour on average. But if I stop here, I'm not getting the point you have to include one more thing. From t equals 2 to t equals 6 hours since the rumor first began, you must include the interval used to calculate the average rate of change in order to get credit, and you must include the units. In my opinion, this is the best way to express the meaning of the average rate of change in the context of the problem, but I'm going to give you one more option. 
You can also say the average rate of change of the number of students who have heard the rumor since the rumor first began is 13 students per hour from t equals 2 to t equals 6 hours since the rumor first began. A lot of students prefer this method of interpretation because it flows so directly from part 1. In part 1 we found that the average rate of change is 13 students per hour. So for this interpretation you basically just restate that the average rate of change is 13 students per hour, but you just include the average rate of change of what, and you include the time interval used to calculate the average rate of change. But I think it's more meaningful to describe the average rate of change as how fast some quantity is increasing or decreasing. Part 3. Use the average rate of change found in Part 1 to estimate the number of students that have heard the rumor after t equals 9 hours. Show the computations that lead to your answer. Our strategy is to write the equation of a secant line from t equals 2 to t equals 6 in point-slope form. So we're going to need a point and the slope. For the point, we can use one of the input-output pairs given to us in the setup of the problem. For example, at time t equals 2, 15 students had heard the rumor. So that's the point 2 comma 15. For the slope, we can use the average rate of change, which is 13. Or, if this was some long decimal, we could use the letter A, where we stored the value of the decimal. Now we can write the equation of the secant line in point-slope form. However, instead of the variable y, let's use the function name r of t. And instead of x, we will use t. But y minus y1 becomes r of t minus 15, the y value. m is the slope, which is 13. Or you could put a. And then x minus x1 becomes t minus 2. To make it easier to use this equation to estimate a value, let's get r of t by itself by adding 15 to both sides. So r of t, and we should say is approximately equal to 13 times t minus 2 plus 15. We need to estimate the number of students who have heard the rumor after t equals 9 hours. So we need to find the value of r at 9. r at 9 will be approximately equal to 13 times 9 minus 2 plus 15. These numbers are so simple that we don't need a calculator. But I'm going to use the calculator anyway because usually the numbers will be larger or involve decimals. If the average rate of change had been some long decimal, this is where we would use the letter where we stored the value of that decimal. So instead of typing 13, we could have typed alpha a and then the rest of it times 9 minus 2. Obviously, you could just put 7 plus 15 and you'll get the same answer. The number of students who have heard the rumor at t equals 9 hours is approximately 106 students. By the way, since we defined the letter a as being equal to the average rate of change, if it turns out to be a long decimal, we can use the letter a in our calculations instead of that decimal. As long as you defined the letter a as being equal to the average rate of change, in part 1, you can write the letter A everywhere the average rate of change appears. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, but also if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.